Hello, my name is Alicia and this is Enlightenment Newbie. This is my tarot series where I take a look at one card per video with two different depictions of the artwork and I read out of The Only Tarot Book You'll Ever Need by Sky Alexander and Mary Shannon and we kind of get an overview of what that card might mean. This is a great card. This is the Empress today. So let me grab that. Let's see. So tarot decks, there's many different tarot decks uh, and the artwork can follow a theme or it can be completely abstract. Um, but this deck, that's a non-traditional deck, this is the image here of the Empress. And this is the traditional image of the Empress. So intuitively looking into these cards, I see that she is, is regal. She's got a crown uh, and she's got the stars and moon behind her. She's looking off into the distance as though she is observing. Not necessarily passing judgment, but just observing life around her. She's She is secure, grounded. She's got a flower in her hair as well as a part of the crown. So she is prosperous. Um, the Empress is like a leveled up how I see it, a leveled up queen. The empress is the feminine divine, right? So she, she is the supreme ruler of, of the deck. That makes sense that there would be moons associated with her because the moon is feminine. So taking a look here at the traditional image. Yes, there is a little bit of a shine there, but she is holding her scepter. She is she is in a fertile field. She does have stars on her crown, so again connecting her to the heavens, but she has fruit on her garment. She there's water in the background. It's kind of like a waterfall. And then she's got some row crops, maybe wheat, around her, ready to be harvested. So, and there's also a forest behind her. So she's very, don't necessarily want to say fertile, but she, she is, with life, right? She exudes confidence, exudes vitality. That would be a really good, secure, stable, grounded vitality. The Empress is a card of beauty and creativity. The matriarch incarnate, incarnate, symbolic of the universal mother, she represents the feminine in material roles, procreation, nurturing, and security, as well as community, comforts of home, and domestic harmony. The Empress is a mature female figure, often seated on the throne. In some decks, she is standing in a field surrounded by flowers and vegetation, representative of Mother Nature and her harvest, full breasted and sometimes pregnant. She symbolizes fruitfulness and abundance. As a symbol of the Empress's royal position, she sometimes holds a scepter and wears a crown. In many decks, a shield or coat of arms leans against her. Interpretation. When the Empress appears, a strong feminine energy is at work. As both a mother figure and a re representative of the traditional female role, the Empress is a creative force that works for harmony. She brings desperate things together, 
reconciling differences like a person running a household must do. This is a card of emotional control and congeniality. The Empress also refers to a person's emotional and physical resources for nurturing, healing, feeding, and supporting other people. Often, there is a situation in a person's life where love and nurturing are required, sometimes by the person herself, sometimes by others. This card may refer to a way the person was mothered for the first and most significant relationship you form is with your mother, and this relationship has a direct bearing on all subsequent relationships. The Empress is linked to all mother goddesses of antiquity, but especially the Greek god Hera, the wife of Zeus, and the quince, quince, quintessential, quintessential matriarchal figure. As a primary symbol for feminine, feminine fertility, she is associated not only with Demeter, Ceres, oh, C-E-R-E-S, and all the pagan mother goddesses, but also with the Christian Virgin Mary. Upright. You are in a position of nurturing someone else or several others. You could be caring for children or the sick or being supportive of a spouse or friend in need. This card could also refer to a pregnancy or... this. Oh, sorry, I was listening to my dog snore. This card could also refer to a pregnancy or desire for a pregnancy. It is it appropriate for you to be nurturing now, for you have the inner strength and the ability to do so without depleting yourself. Reversed. It's time to nurture yourself. You may have been spending too much time caring for others. You may have recently lost a child who demands... No, I hope, I hope not. I'm so sorry that I said that. Um, you may have recently had a child who demands have worn you out. You need to take time out for yourself instead of neglecting your own needs. This is a call for self-love, balance, and awareness that you deserve the same care and attention you give to your loved ones. I don't believe in slips. So I just, um, I want to send all of my love and support to anyone who may be hearing what I said and it resonate with you. Just know that in times of great despair, you are not alone in your pain. And it is extremely healthy to seek the support of others when you need it. So my thoughts are with, with those people out there right now, male, female, that may be dealing with things like that. With that said, that is the Empress. And my name is Alicia. This is Enlightenment Newbie. I appreciate you guys, the time that you take to listen to my videos and, and learn something interesting. I think it's interesting. So I'll be back in a second with another video. Thanks, guys. Bye.